This is NoonStatement.tv. Noon, والقلم وما يسترون. Noon, by the pen and that which they write therewith. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته رمضان مبارك إن شاء الله for all Muslims from all over the world since 1000 years and all the Muslim scholars and imams from all over the world couldn't clarify or explain many of the Holy Quran secrets 1000 year equal to one year in the math of the book without imam from أهل الذكر those who can clarify and explain all of uh, the Quran secrets. And sadly, Islam, one nation, uh, divided into many nations and sections. And today they are fighting and uh, killing each other. So it's very clear in the Quran and in true Sunnah not to be divided and not to follow any sects. From uh, Quran clear verses which uh, do not need any clarifications in Surah Ashura verse number uh, 13 Allah Azza wa Jal said أن أقيم الدين ولا تتفرق فيه to establish the religion and not to be divided into sections this clearly means it's not allowed to create uh, sects in uh, Islam and we have clear warning for great punishment in Surah Al-Imran verse number 105 وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ تَفَرَّقُوا وَاخْتَلَفُوا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَهُمْ الْبَيِّنَاتِ وَأُولَئِكَ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ And do not be like the ones who became divided and differed after the clear proofs and reminders had come to them and those will have great punishment Truthful Allah, the Creator. And for sure we will find the same in true Sunnah Hadith as Quran and Hadith both from Allah Azza wa Jal. In Surah Al-Qiyamah verse number 19 Allah said, ثُمَّ إِنَّا عَلَيْنَا بَيَانُ It is for us to explain it and to make it clear. Truthful Allah, the Creator. As a hadith in true is a clarification for the Quran. The Prophet Muhammad said, In Allah, I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. Allah ordered you to worship and pray and not to take anything as a partner with Him and to hold all with Allah robe and not to be divided into sects. Because it's big disaster for the Islam nation to be divided into sects, then they will start to fight and they will fail, as they are today. And we should not follow any of uh, these uh, sections in the religion, but we are Muslims on the religion of uh, Prophet Muhammad والسلام, and the religion of uh, Ibrahim and the Messiah Isa son of Maryam. And the religion of all of the prophets and messengers from Allah. And Allah Azza wa Jal said in Surah Al-An'am verse 159, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ فَرَّقُوا دِينَهُمْ وَكَانُوا شِيَعًا لَسْتَ مِنْهُمْ فِي شِيَةٍ As for those who split up their religion and become sects, you are not from them in a thing. Then now it's very clear that any Muslim scholar or imam calling for any sections in Islam, whatever his sects, he is not from Ahl al-Dhikr, and he misleads himself, and anyone will follow him will also be misleaded from the right and straight path from Sarat al-Mustaqim. Now I know you are waiting to know who is Bulqarnain, and as we know many of the scholars uh, said 
Hayes, Skander al Makhadouni or Korash, but this from their thoughts without any proof from the great book. And Dul Qarnin السلام, was not from those who made corruptions in the earth like King Korash or King Skander. Dhul Qarnina identity is one of the hidden secrets of uh, the Holy Quran and we need to know that even if all Muslim scholars remain another 1000 years they were not to be able to know this secret as it's from Allah Azza wa Jal wisdom that only one promised Imam from Ahl al-Dhikr will clarify this secret for all of us from the Quran clear places and he had uh, the full knowledge of uh, the book. In this video, I will deliver to you, inshallah, from the miracle statement of the great book, the Holy Quran, all the details about Dhul Qarnin. We will know his true name and his story, where is his great barrier and where is Gog and Mahbub. And we will know that there are 28 messengers and prophets uh, mentioned by name in the Quran. And Dhul Qarnayn, one of uh, them, as he is a prophet, uh, salam, from the seeds of uh, the Arabic prophet Ismail, son of Ibrahim, salam. First, to understand the name Dhul Qarnayn does not mean horns as they think. From Quran Surah Taha, verse number 128, Allah Azza wa Jal said, أَفَلَمْ يَهْدِ لَهُمْ كَمْ أَهْلَكْنَ قَبْلَهُمْ مِنَ الْقُرُونَ Does it not clear to them how many life generations we destroyed before them? And he means nation life generations. So now it's clear that the meaning of Dhul Qarnayn that he lived uh, two life generations as the fact he lived uh, twice. He lived one life generation then Allah puts him to death for 100 years. Then he resurrects him means he sends him back uh, to life. He is the third father of uh, the Arab, the Prophet Ibrahim, son of Ismail, son of Ibrahim. And that's uh, why the Arabs uh, named in the book uh, family of uh, Ibrahim. Then now we learn that there are two prophets with the same name Ibrahim in the Quran. One is uh, the grandfather Ibrahim, son of Azar. And the other is uh, the grandson Ibrahim, son of uh, Ismail, alayhi salam. And the proof in the statement uh, from the Quran in Surah Maryam, verse number 58, Allah Azza wa Jal said, "One Duriyat Ibrahim and Israel, and from the seed of Ibrahim and Israel." And here Allah is talking about two different uh, seeds: the seeds of uh, Ibrahim, the grandson. Uh, the Arabs and the seed of uh, Israel, the children of Israel, the Jew and the Christians today. And we know that Israel uh, is from the seed of Ibrahim, the grandfather. Uh, so here the verse is talking about Ibrahim, the son of Ismail. This is the end of part 1. To know more proofs about Zul Karnayn Ibrahim son of Ismail from the Holy Quran clear verses and more hidden secrets. Click on the thumbnail to watch part 2. To read all statements visit now www.thegregnews.com